Hey folks, it's William with All Solar Texas. So you're in the market for solar, right? But you're wondering, what's this deal I hear about batteries? Do I need one? How much do they cost? Well, stay tuned because in this video, I'll break down all the factors to consider before you even think about adding a battery to your solar system. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright folks, but before we dive in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap on that notification bell. That really keeps you up to date with all the energy news that we produce here on the channel and it does help us out with YouTube a little bit. Lastly, give us a call. We love hearing from customers and whether or not you're an existing solar customer or you're looking to go solar and you just have some questions, reach out to us. We take your calls personally. It's not robots from across the ocean answering your calls and we get back quickly. All right, so you're looking at a solar package and one of the questions that you're thinking about in your mind is, do I need a battery? Well, there's a lot of things to consider before adding a battery to your solar package. Number one is, what is your objective? Are you looking just for backup power in case of emergency to kind of run your home? Um, are you thinking about running your entire home, AC and all, uh, during a power outage? Or are you looking to maybe offset some of your utility usage and uh, lower some of those utility bills? Well, these are all factors that play in uh, when you're considering whether or not to add a battery to your solar package. So first, let's start off with cost. Batteries are still very expensive. The technology is getting better every year. Battery prices are going down, but it's still very expensive. Taking a look at just some of the most recent quotes here, uh, for an Enphase 10, that's a 10 kilowatt battery, which may only run a portion of your home for just a few hours, depending upon what type of home you have and how large it is, uh, those batteries are running for about $14,000 a piece, um, $12,000 if you're adding multiple of these units to your home. Um, I know many of you are big fans of Tesla. Uh, the Tesla power walls are running about $15,000. That's a lot of money. Typically, a battery adds about 30 to 40 percent of the overall cost of your solar system. And so when I'm working with customers and they're asking, should I consider putting in a battery? My first question is always, well, what's your objective? If you're looking for just backup power where you want to be able to run your lights and run your refrigerator during a power outage, then battery is a very good option. But generators are even better option. If you're looking at uh, home uh, backup for your entire house and you want to run your AC, what most people don't know is batteries, depending upon how many you put in your house, are only going to run some of your lower energy demand appliances, such as your lights and your refrigerator, uh, which is great if you don't want your food to spoil but it's not great if it's the middle of summer and it's 105 outside and you're just itching to run that AC that battery is not going to do it for you so a great alternative is a backup generator generators have much more use in terms of application throughout your home. They're much more cost affordable. They're cheaper to run. Uh, typically you're running off of propane or, nat or natural gas. And um, really you could run a lot more of your home for a much cheaper price than you can if you were to spend the same amount of money on batteries. It's just not gonna get you there. Now batteries still aren't a bad deal, but if you're looking for home uh, backup, your entire home, a generator is probably going to be what, what you're looking for. Just taking a look at uh, the battery prices uh, compared to, to generators. So again, there's that uh, N-Charge N 10, that, uh, uh, that Tesla Powerwall, you're, you're looking at $15,000 or $14,000. If you take a look at a generator, you could have a 24 kW system. That's twice as big, more than twice uh, as much juice coming out of a generator than you would any one of those battery combinations. And you're looking around just $15,000. So you're literally getting more than twice your money's worth in power output just by looking at a generator as opposed to a battery. Now, batteries still have their place. Let's say that your um, roof doesn't have enough space to put enough panels on to completely offset your electric usage for 100% of what your utility usage is on an average year. Well, we all know that those solar panels are only producing electricity when the sun's out. Right? So if you don't have enough space on your roof to generate enough electricity 
to actually offset all of your electric usage, even the usage that you have when you're running your home at night, then a battery may be a decent option. But what's a better option and more and, and a slightly cheaper option if you have the roof space is just add more panels. Adding panels are so much cheaper than adding a, a, a battery to help store some of that electric um, uh, overproduction that you have during the days. If you just add panels, what that's going to do is now you're going to overproduce. So instead of having a solar system that only produces 100% offset of your electric usage, maybe you want to put in some extra panels at a much lower price point and offset your electric usage by 120% or 130%. All that extra production goes back to the grid and you're either going to get paid on that through buyback programs or you're going to get credited that extra uh, production through net metering. Either way, if you're looking at a battery to just offset your electric usage so that you don't have those pesky ever rising utility bills, if you have the space on your roof, just add more panels. If you're looking for a backup option and you really want more bang for your buck, I tend to point customers towards a generator. Again, I have no, nothing against batteries. I love batteries. It's just the technology quite isn't there yet. And um, it's still not cost affordable at this point. But if you have that extra money and you want that peace of mind and you want to run clean renewable energy and kind of help uh, lessen the carbon footprint uh, of your family, then batteries are a great option. I won't stop you. I just want to let you know what your options are and um, what your goals are and what's going to work best for you and your family. All right, folks, that wraps it up for today. Thank you so much for joining the session. But before you take off, please just drop a comment below. Let me know, are you interested in a battery? If so, what's driving your interest? Is it backup power? Or is it maybe offsetting some of that utility bill that you just keep getting because you're still using more electricity than you produce? Whatever it is, reach out to us, give us a call. We love hearing from you. Thank you so much and God bless.